Welcome to Storytime Battle. Today we're going to read House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carl. <laughs> House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carl. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now he was too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out onto the shell, step, came out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean. But he was too frightening in the open sea without a shell. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new house soon. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in it. Wiggling and waggling inside. Wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. It felt just right. But it looked so well. But it looked so well plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They slid gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live in my house? It is so plain it needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab packed, picked it up with his claw and put it on a shell. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the sea floor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I once signaled a little sea star. Jet carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some cruel. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help me decorate my house? I would, created a crusty curl. I was, creeped the crusty curl. Generally, Hermit Crab picked it up with, with his cloth and placed it on his ship. In June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They gazed as they went picking up algae and bits of dervish and leaving a neat pack behind them. How tidy and hard working you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help clean my house? I would offer one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp prickly needles. How fierce you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his ship. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered through a forest of seaweed. It's so dark here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the curl. I can't see, said the snail. It's like night time, cried the sea urchin. In September, Hermit Crab spotted a school lantern fish darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be able to light up my house? I would, replied one lantern fish, and he slammed over near the shell. In October, Hermit Crab approached the pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, sure, Hermit Crab. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that the shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little, 
over the year. Hermit crab has grown. Hermit crab has grown. So he would have to find his friends. The sea anemone and the starfish and the sea urchin, the nail, the lantern fish, and even the smooth pebble. Pebbles. They have been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They are like a family. How can I ever leave them? In December, a smaller Hermit Crab passed by. I went. I have outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know of a, of a place for me? I have outgrown my husk too, answered Hermit Crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out of the little... Stepped out of the little crab moved in. Gonna stay in that little show forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider, and then he remembered. Then he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked well. A little plain, but sponges, he thought. Barnacles, clownfish, sand or electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. The end. Thank, you. Thank you for coming to Storytime with Adam. Bye.